What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to share some tips and tricks you may not know about the Federation tech suit that you get when you start out on Genesis Part 2 in ARC. If you want to help a brother out, smash the like button to help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see some more ARC or Gen 2 content, subscribe to the channel. I make plenty of guides and tip videos on ARC that I think you'll enjoy. I hope y'all are having a good day. And with that being said, let's get into the video. I'm going to start off with the basics of the Federation tech suit and the original tech armor, but I can almost guarantee you there's going to be something in this video that you didn't know before. So make sure you stay till the end of the video so you don't miss out on something that can make your arc life a whole lot easier. All right, so here are some of the more basic things to know about the tech suit. The Federation tech armor doesn't require element to use, unlike the regular tech suit, which does require element. They both have a helmet scanner that you can turn on by holding the R key and toggling the helmet visor. It'll highlight your tribe's dinos in green. Let's go down here real quick. And it'll highlight enemy dinos in red. And for dinos that aren't attacking you, it highlights them with a white border. This helm also has night vision that you can cycle helmet visor by holding R again. This is the night vision. And if you do it again, it'll give you the night vision with the helmet scanner. That way you could still see the outline of the dinos. When you cycle it one more time, it turns it back off. The Federation tech suit and the original tech suit will also give you unlimited oxygen so you can stay underwater as long as you want. And it doesn't hurt the durability of your tech armor. Unlike with the regular scuba tank, whenever you're using the scuba tank, the durability slowly goes down the longer you're underwater. The Federation tech armor doesn't do that. You can also use the tech abilities underwater. I'm holding shift right here and it's letting me boost underwater. It won't let you use control underwater though. You can only use shift. Now if you hold control when you're on the ground, it'll break every rock, do damage to dinos. It'll pretty much break anything that you can break regularly. I mean, of course you can't run into the big mountains and stuff. And you see how it's, how it was just doing the the footprints you see how your feet light up whenever you're getting on the mountain it helps you climb mountains easier that's what those little glowing footprints are on the bottom of your feet the tech boots and the federation tech boots also stop fall damage you take no fall damage when you're wearing this tech suit. If you want to die, you just pull off your tech boots. Then you could take fall damage again. I, would, I don't want to do it because I'm not trying to kill myself. But if you hold space, it'll let you go up. And you can kind of angle it whatever direction you want. Look whatever direction you want. Now, if I let go of space, I start falling. You can also hold shift. Shift keeps you at the same position as when you pressed it. You don't go upwards with shift. If you're trying to go up, you just hold space. Now, if you want to go up a little bit quicker, you can double tap space and then hold it again. See, I double tap space and then I hold space again. I double tap space. It does like a little jump up and then I hold space again. That's how you go up a little bit quicker. Now, if you hold shift and press control, it'll jet you forward like this. So I'm pressing shift right now. Then I just press control and it jets me forward. You can hold space and jet forward too. You don't have to hold down control. You just hold down space and tap control once and it'll start jet boosting. You can do it with shift too. You hold down shift, press control once, and it'll start jet boosting. 
the Federation Exo Armor or the Federation Tech Armor doesn't have any durability, so it'll never break. You don't have to worry about it breaking. It also provides a lot less hypothermal insulation and hyperthermal insulation. It doesn't provide near as much as the regular tech suit. If you hold down right click and then let it go, you can do your tech punch and it'll hurt dinos. You could hit dinos with it. It'll also harvest resources as, as you just saw. And you could just repeatedly, boom. It even has a like a pushback effect. See how I threw the Anki way back? But yeah, you can harvest a lot of different resources with it. You could harvest metal, stone, trees, all that. Pretty much anything that you could harvest with a hatchet and pickaxe, you can harvest with your tech punch. You just hold down right click and then let go and it'll punch whatever resource you're trying to harvest. All right, so you see how I'm encumbered? I can't move at all. If you hold down left control while you're encumbered, it'll let you walk. So like my inventory is too heavy to jump. It won't let me jump off the ground. But what you can do is hold down right click, punch into the air, and then you can hold down shift or hold down space and then go wherever you need to go. Press control and you could pretty much travel like you do regularly. You can also, while you're encumbered, if you don't want a tech punch, you can just walk off the side of a cliff and then hold shift or hold space. And you could get off the ground like that too when you're encumbered. All right, now I'm gonna tell y'all about some of the more advanced tips. So a lot of people don't know this one, but if you use the right shift key instead of the left shift key, you can basically auto fly. I'm not pressing anything on my keyboard right now and I'm still flying around. Just by pressing right shift, you press it once, once you're in the air and you'll hover. And then you could just press control once and I'm flying around the map right now without pressing anything on my keyboard or holding my mouse or anything. This is really good for getting around the map. If you want to go do something, go make a cup of coffee real quick, go to the bathroom. You can just start flying in the direction you want to go. Go do your thing, come back. You'll either be there or you probably pass it up, but it's pretty good to know. The Federation tech suit also protects you from radiation and the mushroom spores on aberration, just like the original tech suit does. There's a common bug that prevents you from getting the radiation protection with the tech suit. But what you can do to fix it is just take off the tech chest piece and then re-equip it. And then you should be protected from radiation or the mushroom spores on aberration. Having full tech armor or the full Federation tech suit will also stop bees from attacking you when you're trying to get a beehive. This is super useful because you don't have to make or find a set of ghillie or hazard suit armor. You just get your tech suit, which you spawn with it on Genesis part two. And then you could just go up to the beehive and bees won't attack you. And this tip right here is a really good one. Say I'm trying to get to the top of that mountain quick. You can always hold space to go up and just double tap space but this is a lot quicker so if i hold shift and then hold down my right click to punch upwards right when i release the punch i let go of right click press the map it'll send you boosting upwards this is super useful whenever you're trying to get up somewhere quickly it'll start slowing down after a certain amount of time but all you have to do to start going fast again is just do it again hold down the punch again release and pull out your map and it'll just send you going up it's really useful 
If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like to help out with the YouTube algorithm and comment down below and let me know which tip was the most useful in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more ARK and Gen 2 content. I want to give a huge shout out to It's Louie for being the main and supporting the channel. I also want to give another huge shout out to my boy I Am In Shane and Crazy Zach for being the main main. I really appreciate the support. Y'all are awesome. Thank y'all for watching. Until next time. Peace. Peace.